Hi everybody, Jennifer here with the June 2013 Ipsy Glam Bag opening for you. Um, for those of you, those of you that don't know, Ipsy is a, another subscription service that sends you four to five beauty samples, and this is usually entire, entirely, at least in my experience, beauty related. Um, they send mostly makeup products, sometimes hair, and sometimes skincare, but it's mostly makeup. And the sizes of the samples are usually quite a bit larger, if not full sizes, um, than birch boxes. And this was the bag for this month. It's sort of leopard print, cute kind of bag. They send the samples in a different pattern bag every month, and I am wearing all of the products in this month's bag on my face. This took me quite some time to do. So I hope you like it. If you'd like to see a tutorial on it, please let me know. Um, I will gladly do it for you. It will take some time to get up and to edit, but I will definitely post it for you if you want to see it. Um, as you might be able to tell, the theme of this month's box is on the wild side. They've got, you know, um, products from... Nick's in here, at least in mine. Starlocks, Kaylin, and I'm trying to think if there are any others. Um, J A Beauty, I believe. I believe that's what it's called. Anyway, I'll I'll show you. As soon as I open the bag, uh, one of the first products that was in here was a lip liner, a lip pencil, from a brand called Starlux, which I believe also has their own subscription service. Um, but and their own line of cosmetics, but I received this sort of coral, bright coral lip liner in Tipsy K337. And that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It really makes a nice sort of cream lip color. If you want to also fill in your lips with it. The next product was a cream eyeshadow palette from JCat Beauty. Sorry. I'm sorry about that, but not the name. And there are one, two, three, four, five colors in here. There's sort of a orangey glitter, they're all glitter, a reddish glitter, I've swatched them all, um, sort of a bronze glitter, a gold glitter, and almost like a burnt, burnt orange, reddish type of glitter. And I've got the gold glitter on my lids near the inside corners. The glitter is a little difficult to work with because it gets everywhere because these are pure glitter. Um, there's not really much pigment in between the glitter. It's kind of literally just glitter. So the glitter gets everywhere. It's glitter and some kind of binding, creamy type substance. Probably something, maybe 
Oh, wax. Yeah, and there's not much of uh, like color between the actual glitter particles, but it's a nice little palette to have if you want to do a look like this. Something similar, or just glitter all over the eye. I set the cream with powder eyeshadow and then did a darker powder shadow in the crease and sort of in the outside corner. Curled my lashes and put on some mascara. <clears throat> um, next was NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Boho Chic, which is a very light, it might not look all that light in the pan, but it's a very light sort of highlighting pink, really. But I did set that with an additional powder blush and it, it turned out very nice. I really like it very much. There's quite a bit of pigment in there. Um, it's just it's in me a lot of blush and a lot of pink blush, which is great, but there are other colors that do go well with rare skin, so Maybe I'll get one of those soon. <clears throat> yeah, this is the Kaylin Gel Eyeliner in Iron. It's the Line Fix Gel Eyeliner. And it comes with the brush. Darn it. It comes with the brush already attached to the pot. It's sort of like a lid slash brush type of thing. And this is sort of a smoky, dark, steel gray. I have that very slightly on my eyes. Very pretty and a lot easier to work with than liquid. I think I'm going to start using much more um, eyeliner in cream and gel format because they just seem easier for me to use generally. And there's one more product. They also sent this original dry shampoo. Um, I do have a full size of this, so thank you Ipsy for sending the travel version. Um, this stuff is great for adding volume to the hair. Uh, um, for second day hair, it's really good. And it just absorbs oil and lets your hair look a little cleaner than it may actually be. Why is there a feather? Okay, there we go. And it, you just spray it at your roots. You divide your hair up into sections or just lift particular sections like I do. And let it sit for a few minutes. And then brush it back out. And your hair will have a considerable amount more volume. And it will also have um, cleaner looking roots and the rest of it will look considerably cleaner because there's powder in here that will absorb all of the oil or all the extra excess oil, sorry. Um Nope. I haven't forgotten anything. But I hope you all are having a good day and have a wonderful weekend. And I hope you enjoyed this video and it was somehow informative or helpful to you. These are sort of the only kind of haul videos that I do. I don't really like to do haul videos when I go out and buy cosmetics because I don't really buy it all in one big clump most of the time. It's sort of like 
Oh, I like this. Let me pick up a few of these. Or let me try this. Let me get one of these kind of thing. And it really isn't sort of, I'm going to spend, I'm going to go to Walgreens or Sephora or wherever and spend $40, $50 just on makeup. I do, but in a smaller, more incremental kind of way. Um, so if you have any questions about Ipsy or about any of these products, please feel free to leave a comment or a question down below and I will see you all very soon. Take care everybody. Have a great rest of your Saturday and a great weekend and happy Father's Day to any of you who might be fathers out there or might be spending it with your dad. I know I'll be spending it with mine tomorrow and I'll see you all very soon. Take care everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.